Okay, let's move on to the last part of this video, which will be the um, actually mounting of the um, slide. So, as I said before, now I'm outside where it's nice and breezy so that um, I won't have act I won't be inhaling any of those toxic xylene vapors. So if you notice I have number six written on here. I have I uh, probably a little excessive, but I use six exchanges of xylene. This is a hundred percent xylene in here. I go from the hundred percent alcohol to jar number one, which is all xylene, and I put it in there, and of course there's a little bit of the alcohol dilutes the xylene. Then as I keep getting progressively higher, up to one through six or seven, by the time it reaches six or seven, I can be assured that the um, samples are 100% alcohol free, and also the xylene has um, removed all of the fat. Now this particular slide is the head of a dragonfly. I'm looking particularly for the mouth parts. So we'll put that right there like that. This video may not be quite as good as the other ones because I'm at, um, outside, but that's okay. We'll do it's the idea here, what I'm showing you. So I'm gonna remove the clips. They've been like that the entire time. I'm wearing my mask, my acrylo, um, excuse me, I'm wearing my mask that has the um, activated charcoal filters on it. If you get a good mask, it doesn't restrict your breathing at all. So now we take the 30 gauge syringe needle. And what we're going to do is we are going to pry it between the two pieces of glass and we're going to lift up the glass slide and it will it will stick to one or the other. So here we are, it's stuck on the top half this time, that's okay, I don't care. I'll take off the um, shims and save them. The shims never go bad. The, the, the one slide here I put over in a container of water that has soap and some ammonia and I'll reuse those slides again because they're not expensive but they're not cheap either and I'd use a lot of them. So now I have the dragonfly head and of course it did have xylene which is rapidly evaporating so I what I want to do is just put a drop of xylene on here just a little bit there we go and now here's the per this is I had transferred the per mount to a smaller jar and then I take the pipette like this and I will put you be very careful about bubbles here Bubbles are the bane of somebody that's, like myself that's making slides. I have learned from experience not to go cheap on the per mount. If you try and put little, too little on there, you're gonna run into a situation where the, uh, it'll pick up bubbles as you drop them on there. So now I'll take cover slip. You can see the cover slip on the end there very carefully put it on the edge very carefully so as not to pick up bubbles and slowly lower it watching very carefully just in case there's a bubble because sometimes the way this stuff flows uh, you can't predict so if you do it slowly you can sometimes pick it back up just a little bit now there we go, now that is, I don't know if you can see that, that's close to exactly the way I want it. So I'm only gonna show one, so I'm going to uh, 
close this up because it don't want it to evaporate. Now, if you notice, let's do this. You see the um, you can see the mouth can see the mouth parts right there. Doesn't that look good? This is a dragonfly, right? Dragonfly head, and the purple part at the top and at the bottom is the compound eyes. You can see the dozens and dozens of lenses. Now I put an excess amount of permount on there because I didn't want to pick up a bubble when I was putting that cover slip on there. I hate that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wick some of that permount out by using a Q-tip. Be very careful to do this. Just suck a little bit out. And the cotton on the end of the Q-tip draws up the uh, draws it up like that. You don't want to be you don't want to go too far because you'll make it so thin. Turn it over. You'll make it so thin that it will, as it's drying, it'll suck an air bubble. There we go. Now that's pretty good. You see that? I'll give that a thumbs up. Good. So then I will transfer, I'll take that back inside and I'll let that dry for at least two weeks before I even touch it because the permount, although it's supposed to be fast drying, take my word for it, it's not. So, um, that's it really. Let me see. As you can see in this jar here, let me go into the lower magnification. As you see in this jar here, I have lots of slides ready to go. I see some grasshopper legs. I see some wings of some other flies. Uh, you might notice over here, I have more than one clamp on there. This was a, oh yeah, that was a golden eye lace wing. Now let me tell you about golden eye lace wings. Um, you cannot successfully put them in potassium hydroxide. For some reason, they seem to be so fragile that, you know, the, the body gets destroyed. I don't know how to put it. It's a hit or miss thing, but... So what I did was I put two shims on either end to make it thick, and then I kind of put clamps in the middle to squeeze it down just a little bit, not too much. Now, let me just show you before we close. Here is a wing. I noticed there was a, here's a wing. Look at this wing here. See the black, the black markings on the um, wing? Isn't that interesting? That's a dragonfly, but a, a dead one. I, I, most of the one, insects I catch are just freshly, um, they just died, found them on the ground, you know, probably died within a day or so. But you can see the dark markings there. Not all dragonflies have those dark markings, which I thought was interesting. So there you have it. So I hope um, I hope that series of videos that I did for you shows me how I make my microscope slides. I've made, honestly, in the last three years, since I really got interested in making microscope slides again, I must have made over a thousand of them. And it's just a fascinating, endless uh, interest of mine. And I'm always looking for the perfect slide. I would say to somebody that wants to get into making microscope slides like I'm doing, to not be discouraged because it's very, very difficult to get a really good slide of something. You know, I mean, you may not have arranged the limbs properly or the head might have been twisted a little bit or may have been distorted somewhat. Maybe, maybe some legs had come off because of over manipulation, etc., etc., or whatever, whatever. But the key to all of this is to, first of all, to dehydrate completely of all the water from 70 to 90 or 100, and then go several steps of xylene. I actually go 
six or seven steps. I go one, which is xylene plus the alcohol, all the way through to 100% xylene. And uh, by the time I get to number six, and I give each one a day, by the time I get to number six, I know that all of the fat and all of the water and alcohol has been removed. As, and this is, going to be, this is going to be a good slide. I'm very happy with this. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.